Okay, so you've probably heard about Google Analytics. I mean, most people have heard, and you may even actually have Google Analytics installed on your site. I even created a video recently showing you exactly how to put Google Analytics, and Google Analytics on your site and how to get it working. Um, so basically, Google Analytics, obviously, it's a free product from Google that provides you with all of the statistics surrounding your website or your blog. All right, so why is this information important? Why is tracking what happens on your website or your blog one of the most important things you can do for your website? Well, you might think you know the answer, but stick around because the answer might actually surprise you. Okay, the other day I released a series of technical videos that basically showed you all of the steps that I go through every time I'm setting up an online business. So basically, uh, after, the, after years of doing this, I basically narrowed it down to a few things that I always do every time I'm setting up a new online business. And one of the steps that I put in there is Google Analytics. I'm always, I always, no matter what I do, install Google Analytics or some form of tracking in my websites. Okay, so why is this important, especially if you're not a numbers person? Well, being able to track your online activities is one of the most important things you can do. See, data is the fuel that makes online marketing work. And the sooner you get that, the sooner that you can significantly profit. If you look at any successful company in general, whether they're online or offline, but specifically online companies, even blogs, they know their numbers. They know how much people are coming to their website on a daily basis. They know the percentage of people that buy. That's their conversion rate. They know the percentage of people that sign up for their newsletter or give them their email address. They know all of their data. Now, if they're going to try anything new, they know that they must be able to track the results. So they always put some kind of tracking mechanism um, with it, otherwise they won't even try. And this is actually one of the reasons that a lot of companies, particularly larger companies, are so late to the social media scene. Social media isn't as easy to track. Now, social media is great and it works and I love social media, but it's not as easy to track as some of these other things. And that's one of the reasons a lot of these larger companies are so late to coming to, to social media. But the underlying point is data is where it's at. Data helps you um, to take away all of the guesswork associated with success. In fact, I always say the number one way to fail online is by guessing. We never want to guess. Uh, the final point about data is that data is probably the best teacher that money can buy. There are, it's great to buy all of the, the courses and the training about online marketing, but nothing can replace actual data results um, from, from trying things. So that is um, my thing on data. Now, acquiring this data is one thing. We can slap Google Analytics on our site and get data. But how can we use this data to our benefit? I want you to write this down because when I heard the concept I'm about to share, and it's not mine, but when, I, but when I heard it, it completely changed my approach to online business and I had positive results ever after. Um, that is, you can always, you can always test your way to success. So I'll repeat that. When it comes to online business, you can always test your way to success. Okay, so that pretty much is like this. From your initial idea down to the color of the font you use on the website, everything in between, everything you do has some quantifiable or some actual effect, positive or negative, on the results that you want. So if you're trying to make money online, every decision you make has a positive or a negative effect. If you can test, so, so if you can get this data, so you make a decision and you try it and then you track the results, if you can do that, you can always know if the decision you made had a, high, a positive effect or a negative effect. And it's such a simplistic but such a powerful concept. If you adopt the habit of making decisions fast, implementing those decisions, 
but always tracking the results of those decisions, you will be in a much better place to make much more educated decisions, um, which correspondingly you will reach success much, much faster, I promise. So the idea is when you come up with or if you're trying to, or if you learn a new concept, you immediately implement it, but you always attach some mechanism to track it. So the more you get into tools like Google Analytics or Google Website Optimizer, or of course my own TwitClix, which I always love to poke in whenever I get a chance, but uh, tools like that that basically measure data, and then you learn how to use them correctly. The better you can learn to use tools like that, or to use the data that those tools um, present, the faster the decisions you make will lead to better decisions, and so you'll, spiral, you'll always spiral up to more profits. And essentially, when you do this, you get into the cycle of always getting better. An amazing thing happens. Every day you're online will be better than the day before. Every single day you're online will be better than the day before, because you're always trying something educated. You're always using, taking an educated decision, putting it in, and then measuring the results that come out. And if they're good, you keep. If they're bad, you throw away. That's, that's online marketing for you right there. All right, so let, let me give you a practical example, a real example of me doing this. Okay, at some point, I learned that you have to be collecting email addresses. I didn't invent that. It's just something that internet marketers, you need to do. Um, so I put up a link on my site to a newsletter. I started a newsletter. Well. When I did, the results were, were horrible. I mean, I was doing the right things, but I could not get people to subscribe. Maybe one in every thousand people subscribed. So because I was watching the data, because I could see what was happening, I immediately knew something was wrong, so I made a change. I changed the language, and I added an incentive for people to subscribe. Nice. I, it was much better. Now it was like 5%, like 5 in every 100 people were signing up. So that was a significant boost. So, you know, encouraged by these results, I m continued to make changes. I added um, more uh, to the incentive. And I even changed it from a newsletter to an actual software that I would give for free in exchange for someone's email address. And every time I did stuff like that, the numbers kept going up and up and up. Finally, I ended up at a 20% opt-in rate. So 20 out of every 100 people were signing up. So the act of testing, after months and months of trying different things and measuring the results, trying, measuring, trying, measuring, I finally ended up at what I feel is a very impressive 60% opt-in rate on one of my sites. But an amazing thing happened. Through the process of testing, through the process of learning something, implementing it, measuring the results, and making better decisions on those results, I learned so much about getting email addresses, just the act of getting email addresses that all of my websites, not just the one, all of the websites that I have done since then, that I was doing then and even what I'm doing now, all of them receive similar results. In fact, if you even look at this blog right now, I've implemented a lot of what I learned just in that test. So not only did I benefit financially then, the financial benefits carry on. So I hope I've convinced you that data is king. You cannot run, it, or it's ex almost impossible to run a successful business without knowing your data very, very well. Okay, now the big problem is, and I can, I can understand this, is that a lot of people are not numbers people. So it can be very cumbersome to stay disciplined, develop the habit to always read your stats, interpret your stats, and make um, changes accordingly. But I tell you, that's the ticket to success. It's one of those habits that's worth adopting because the results um, will be much, much better than um, how you're currently doing. I guarantee it. Um, so anyway, this video was pretty much just showing you the benefits of knowing your stats. There is a software I have coming out soon, but I'm, I don't want to talk about it now because this is a content video. Um, but there is something I do have cooking up that's going to handle all of this stuff much, much better. So stick around and stay tuned for that.